Today, Aileen from SSA will show you how to make your own rocket at home. Did you know that the UK could soon be launching rockets? In fact, one of the proposed launch sites is in Sutherland in the Highlands of Scotland up on the north coast. The UK is well placed for launching satellites into polar orbit. That's an orbit that takes a satellite over the top and bottom of the globe, past the North and South Poles. Rockets are being built right here in Scotland too. One company, Orbex, is building a rocket called Prime. Prime is an example of the new breed of rockets suitable for launching small satellites into space from sites like the proposed sites in Scotland. These rockets aren't designed to carry astronauts though, their purpose is to take small satellites into space. The latest rockets are much, much smaller than traditional rockets. The Electron rocket from Rocket Lab is just 17 metres. The Prime rocket from Orbex is just 19 metres. That's about the same size as a train carriage standing on end. Anyway, here's Aileen to tell you more. Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make your own rocket. To do that, you are going to need some paper, a pair of scissors, some taper glue, a marker pen, a straw and a pencil for drawing with. So the first step in making a rocket is to make the main body of the rocket. And to do that, we're just going to wrap a piece of paper around our marker pen. If you don't have a pen, that's okay. You can use a pencil or a rolling pin or anything else that you can wrap a bit of paper around. Once you've done that, take a bit of tape and just secure it so it stays in place. Once you've got the tape on it, you can take the pen out and then the most important part of our whole process is to seal one end of this tube. And the reason that we need to seal that end is when we come to launch it, we're going to use a straw to blow air into it. And if there's a gap at both ends, the air will just come straight through instead of letting the rocket fly. So the next stage in building your rocket is to make the fins, which will help it fly. Your fins can be any shape or size that you like. Um, I am going to have some triangle shaped fins, so I've just drawn a triangle on my piece of paper and I'm going to cut it out. The reason I've only drawn one is so that I can use this one that I've cut out just now as a template to draw around so that when I make my second fin it will be exactly the same size and shape as the first one. So I'm just drawing around the one I've cut out and now I will cut it out. So now we've got our two fins. You can have as many fins as you like, but I'm just going for two. We have to attach them to a rocket. To do this, you're gonna fold the edge, one edge of your fin, so that you've got a bit of a fold in it there like that. And then you're gonna cut halfway along the fold. And then you're gonna keep one part of the fold on one side of the fin and put the other fold on the other side of the fin, so you've got one on each side. Then we need to put tape on both of these bits of fold. And once we've done that, we can stick it onto the rocket and we're going to attach it to the bottom end of the rocket where there is no tape. So that's one fin done. We better attach the other one, so exactly the same. And that's our fins on our rocket. The final part to making your rocket is to make the nose cone that goes onto the top. So to do this, you need to draw and cut out a circle. I've drawn around a bottle top that I've found, but you could draw it freehand if you would prefer. Once you've cut out your circle, you need to cut a line from the edge of the circle to the center of it. So you've got a bit that looks like this and then you're going to take these two edges of the cut and push them together to form a, a, a cone shape. Now you want your cone shape to be about the same size as the top of your rocket. So once you've got it to the size that you want, just put a little bit of tape there to hold it in place. Now for the fiddliest bit of all, we've to attach our cone to the top of our rocket. So I'm just going to hold this in place and get a bit of tape and wrap it around the edge. 
And that is our rocket complete, ready for launch. Now that our rocket's finished, we are ready to launch it. And to do that, we are gonna put a straw in the bottom of it and just blow. If you don't have a straw, or if like this rocket, it's too big for a straw to launch it, we can make our own. To do that, we just get a piece of paper and we roll it into a cylinder. Now it's important here that the cylinder is small enough to fit into the rocket that you're going to launch. Once you've made that, just take a piece of tape and secure it and you're ready to launch. So, let's go. Ready? Three, two, one. Once again, your task for today is to create a homemade rocket, launch it, and see how far you can get it to travel. If you'd like to send us a picture of your homemade rocket, please ask your parents to email newton.rooms at hient.co.uk or alternatively, you can post the picture on Facebook or Twitter and tag at SSA STEM.